Hi there, I'm Alex from the Southern Ukulele Store and quite a few of you have been asking us about the MySci Air Trio ukulele pickup since I mentioned it uh, in one of the NAMM show videos a few months back and yeah we've we've had a few months of stocking it now I was lucky enough to get one when they first came in and put it in one of my kind of layer ukuleles uh, it's the instrument that I do the most performing with and the most work with uh, so over the last two months I've done quite a few restaurant gigs with this pickup fitted I've done a bit of recording I've done some uh, demos for customers uh, even a little bit of teaching with it so I, I've tried to get the measure of the pickup the best I can and I, I think I'm there now I think I know what this pickup's good for and what kind of player would pay the extra 20% that it costs to get this uh, pickup with your instrument so first of all the difference between the MySci Trio and the MySci Air Trio is a second microphone so the MySci Trio is an under-saddle piezo uh, attached to a capacitor-driven preamp. It's an active pickup but requires no batteries. The MySci Air Trio is that, but with an added second microphone pickup, which is attached to the circuit board on the internal preamp on the ukuleles. So the placement of the air in the Air Trio is right in the middle of the lower bout of the instrument. Now, that's great, but I do think it makes the... Uh, microphone inherently boomy with larger bodied instruments so I'm using a tenor and I find that I'm having to EQ my amp slight with slightly less bass to get the best out of the microphone that's the first observation secondly the the air trio um, combines the piezo and the microphone but it does so in quite a clever way it, you get two controls that will be inside the sound hole of your ukulele the first one powers just the piezo pickup and works as a volume control. But actually, I have found that it works different to a standard volume control. Anybody that's ever had a pickup in their ukulele with a volume knows that to get the best out of it, you have it about halfway. And if you drive the pickup up to full, you start to get a crispy, distorted sound. That's not the case with the MySci Trio. With the MySci Trio Piezo, when you turn that volume control up full, what you're actually getting is just the best balanced output of that Piezo you can get. So on the whole, I have found that when I'm gigging or when I'm recording, I'm just turning that volume control up full and then I'm not touching it again. The real magic and the real benefit to the Air Trio is the microphone and that second control that powers that is the one that you should be looking at really. Um, if you have it up full, you're going to hear a lot of body noise. You're going to hear your, your own breathing. You're going to hear the crowd if you're playing at a restaurant. That's right, you'll hear every single uh, positive and negative comment that the person eating their dinner in front of you will say um, through, your, through your instrument and amplified out of the amplifier. If you uh, even get that far, if I had it up full, I found that in a public place, I would just get a large amount of feedback. So I have found the best application of the microphone is to use it as an accent to the main MySci Trio pickup. So if you have the volume at about three on the MySci Air microphone, you get a little bit of colour you get a bit more of an overall natural sound and as the demonstration we're about to play hopefully uh, shows you um, you get a more natural plugged in ukulele sound which I think is what we're all searching for uh, I can't imagine that the, the majority of people using this pickup want an amplified sounding ukulele they want their tone their instrument but able to control the volume for a large crowd and I, I think that's what does it uh, the last thing I should mention is that the MySci Air Trio is a massive, massive improvement over the um, old MySci Air. The uh, MySci originally released a MySci Air pickup, which was just the microphone attached to the M-pin jack socket, which in theory was fantastic, but in, in practical use, I, we just found it completely unusable. And um, for a couple of years, we, we just chose not to stock that pickup because... I couldn't imagine how many people would be left disappointed with it. So the MySci Air Trio is definitely a fix for what was already a good idea, just not quite where it needed to be. Um, anyway, I've done enough talking. I hope this video review helps you. I'm going to... I'm uh, going to play one of my songs now and the reason I've chosen to use vocal accompaniment with the song is so that you can hear the amount of breathing and body noise coming from the instrument as you go. 
Uh, this video is going to be best enjoyed with headphones or a really good set of speakers. I've used a kind of high or dynamic mic and I've plugged straight into a Zoom H4 to achieve this. You would get a better sound for a mixing desk or for an amplifier with a DI, but I wanted to give you the truest signal possible. Uh, remember, this is the absolute um, kind of worst case scenario for the signal that you're going to get from this instrument and anything you do to colour it will only improve it. Anyway, I'm going to give it a play and see what you guys think. to see the man I could have always been I'm over you If I ever tried to walk away You'd find a way to make mistakes Rain don't fall upon me now Let me drink until I think That I'm the toast of this whole town Sunshine down upon me now I need some time, give me some time To find myself I'm Living this hard I'm finding it hard to see the man I could have always been I broke the rules and if I ever tried to walk away you'd find a way to make me stay rain don't fall upon me now let me drink until I think that I'm the toast of this whole town sunshine down Time to find myself. We're living this hard. We're finding it all so hard. 